Hello, I am Commissioner Emma I. Darnell. Welcome to Mighty Five Conversations. Conversations is a monthly information and communication program focusing on the sustainable community. Economically strong, environmentally safe, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us. I will be back in a moment. Joining me in the conversation today, HIV prevention and treatment, what's going on, is Veronica Hartwell, Health Program Administrator for the High Impact HIV Prevention Program. Welcome, Ms. Hartwell. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you for we asking me to be here. So pleased to have you here. And we are so deeply appreciative of the many years that we have worked together with the Department of Health Services mm -hmm. to impact upon what is really an epidemic uh, in Fulton County. But we picked up some new weapons in this fight in recent weeks. And uh, we are extremely encouraged mm -hmm by the CDC grant and the High Impact Program. Uh, citizens in Fulton County are extremely interested, mm -hmm. not only in the Mighty Five, but throughout the county in this program. And they like to see their tax dollars spent to eradicate disease. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, about the high impact program. This is a, a new weapon, isn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am, it is. Uh, certainly in our HIV prevention toolkit. Uh, in uh, 2012, January 2012, uh, the CDC funded the city of Atlanta, Fulton County, more or less Fulton County, because the city of Atlanta didn't have, a, does not have a health department. So Fulton County does. Uh, and CDC recognized that Fulton County, along with DeKalb County, had a uh, highest burden of HIV disease that was being shown uh, in the data. It's the highest in the state, I understand. It is the highest in the state between Fulton County and DeKalb County. And you're looking collectively of about 70, over 70% 70 of the total morbidity or the total HIV cases are, that are here uh, in Fulton and DeKalb County. Are, they, are those data concentrated in certain age groups? Well, the majority. What are the demographics of that seventy percent? The the demographics are certainly the the is thirteen to sixty four, but the majority of the highest populations at uh, the greatest risk are. Uh, it depends on population. For men who are having sex with men, is ages twenty to twenty nine. Uh, that's African American men who are having sex with men. Uh, Caucasian men who are having sex with men is a little older, thirty to thirty nine. Uh, African American women uh, who are at greatest risk. We're looking at ages ranges from 30 to 49. So the age ranges vary uh, based on the infection and based on the, the areas that we are targeting. And we're talking about 70, what did you say? A little over 70% between Fulton and DeKalb County. 40, a little over 43% in Fulton County, 27% in DeKalb County. 43% in Fulton County. Yes. 43% of what figure now? <laughs> of the state figure? Of the state figure, of the mm -hmm. total morbidity, that's correct. Of uh, Basically, when you have 150, 159 counties and the, the largest morbidity numbers are in Fulton and DeKalb County, that's really alarming. And that's the reason why Fulton County, uh, that uh, the Centers for Disease Control uh, looked at Fulton County and DeKalb County. Says, Even wow. when you take into consideration the fact that they are the largest oh, absolutely. county absolutely. in population, it's still a high number. Oh, absolutely, yes. absolutely. And when you and when you when you look at those that, those um, those statistics, uh, then certainly these these new funding provided by the CDC is really a welcome relief for us to be able to do what we need to do in the community. Tell us what you've been doing up to this time. We've been working very closely with the health department for uh, many years uh, to deal with HIV because District 5 and portions of District 5 
have some of the highest rates of HIV. Oh, absolutely, AIDS absolutely. In the county, is that correct? Absolutely, and certainly uh, with these funds, and the funds have to be very targeted. Uh, meaning that we have to, well, uh, the, to respond to your first question about what have we done the first year in uh, 2012. Uh, first of all, we had to, to scale up, meaning we had to hire appropriate staff that uh, represented the community and be able to bring that, uh, that level of expertise in to be able to talk about HIV. And so we spent the year scaling up and then we spent the, the year also looking at data. Uh, understanding where is the burden of disease. So when we really target our uh, prevention efforts, our testing efforts, our um, treatment and care efforts, it's really localized or targeted in those areas of greatest need. So we spent that first year really uh, Targeting our, our efforts. You uh, don't want to know where it is. Want to know where it is so we can maximize uh, maximize the impact. So we can mm -hmm. use those monies effectively. Re use the human resources effectively. Use the f resources that we have uh, monetarily effectively. Uh, then ensure that we target our efforts in those in those communities that's most impacted. We know the health department, uh, Department of Health Services, Department of Health and Wellness. We have many different names. We're just going to say the health department right okay, now. Okay. Right. But you've worked for many years in dealing with HIV. What is the, what is the, uh, the additional approach that we are having with the high impact program? Well, there's, you know, we have a tiger by the tail, uh, and I think uh, our community need to really be aware that there's been this resurgence. Of, of HIV infection. And we didn't what, know that. And, and what comes with HIV infection is, uh, the, prior to that, we, we have an insurgence of syphilis and gonorrhea and chlamydia in our community. And so we have this now resurgence of HIV, specifically in younger populations. And the Fulton County, uh, the health department, has been, <laughs> uh, has been on the you know, forefront yes. of really uh, providing education and outreach into the community. With these new fundings, it allows us to really target out To target into those areas that has the highest burden of disease so we can maximize impact. We're going to go in there doing more targeted testing. We're going to ensure that our condoms are really targeted and those condom distribution is really targeted in those areas. Uh, we're going to ensure that people who are testing positive are linked to care very quickly so they don't continue to spread the infection. So it just does, this program just doesn't really start with the outreach part. Oh, it, no, ma'am, no. It goes at other step. Oh, absolutely. Once you're tested and you know your status, meaning if you know whether you're positive or negative, there's other steps. If you're positive, we have to ensure that you are linked to care and get on medication because if not, you'll continue to be infectious and continue to infect others out in the community. So you're really collecting data not only on outreach, but treatment as well. Well, our Ryan White uh, uh, partners play a significant role in what we do because as we target people and also test them and they know their status, then the next step is actually getting them routed and linked into uh, the Ryan White uh, Primary Care Services, which is care and treatment. I understand that treatment is really kind of the new, the new approach to reducing and eradicating HIV. It is uh, treatment is the new prevention strategy. It's the <laughs> new prevention strategy. Tell us right. what that means. Well, actually what that means is that, is that when you are tested and uh, you know your status and you're positive, and we ensure that you see a doctor, and if the doctor prescribed medications, uh, it's important that you take those medications. That allows you to prevent others from being infected uh, with the virus because you're now adherent to the medications that the doctors are prescribing to you. So you are linked, this program is linked to the Ryan White treatment programs. It's a, it's a critical partner. Uh, without Ryan White treatment, we are identifying people who know their status. And if you're positive, we have nowhere to send you. So it's critical that we partner with our Ryan White program to ensure that they have the slots available so as we identify new positives uh, we have somewhere to send people for care and treatment. And um, the Ron White program, uh, would you tell the public a little something about that program since it is so critical to the high impact program? Well the Ron White program which is also federally funded, also federally funded, mm -hmm. is, is responsible for providing the uh, simply care and treatment, primary care and treatment to individuals who are diagnosed positive with HIV. It provides medication, uh, it provides uh, providers to see individuals who are positive to, uh, to ensure that they are following their treatment regimens. 
uh, if they're having mental health issues, uh, the mental health issues are addressed. If they have substance abuse issues, substance abuse issues addressed. So it, it offers uh, that uh, comprehensive treatment and care part of that person when they're positive for HIV. I believe that some of the Ryan White programs also support, provide support to families or uh, is it child care, transportation? Now, some parts of the uh, Ryan White programs do provide the transportation, the support groups, uh, care for women and families, which is a different title. Uh, the, the Title IIs and the Title Threes uh, of the Ryan White program does, yes. But the key is comprehensive. Key is comprehensive, which is under part part A, and, and Ryan White comes with different parts, A, mm -hmm. B, C, and D. We're going to talk and, about those parts when we come back. Okay. I just got a signal. We're going to have to break. But we're going to tell them a little something about Ryan White so they'll know what the treatment portion is. Okay. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back in a moment. Mrs. Hartwell, you were saying that with the high impact program, there is a focus on treatment, but unless there is testing, uh, no one knows whether they should receive treatment or not. Um, tell us how high impact approaches the whole uh, necessity uh, for testing okay. to get to treatment. Right. Yes. <laughs> uh, with the funding that we received uh, last year in January 2012, uh, it's categorical funding. And that simply means that when the Centers for Disease Control provided funding to the city of Atlanta, Fulton County, it came in three categories, category A, category B, and category C. Category A is really the flagship of this funding initiative that we're talking about. And its primary focus is around testing for people, for individuals to know their status. Uh, and that's important. That is, if we, we will spend 75% of our time really encouraging the community uh, to, to be tested for HIV. And there's a several ways that we really want that message to get to the community. And uh, we're talking about routinizing or standardizing HIV testing uh, when you go to your private provider. Mm -hmm. If you end up in the emergency room, or even if you're going to any type of clinical setting, uh, they already take your blood and all types of specimens that they, they, they provide tests on. Uh, but we are encouraging those private providers as well as all the other entities uh, to begin to offer HIV tests that's new as a standard of care. Yes, that, yeah. that is new. And that yes. is one of the things we're really pushing across this jurisdiction is that we want every single person in Fulton and DeKalb County, since we're partnering with them, to know your status. The first way you do that is first ensuring that your provider uh, asked you if you want an HIV test. Of course your you have your, your doctor. Family doctor yes. Of course you have an opportunity, to, an option to opt out. Mm -hmm. uh, but we really want you to begin to have that conversation by first being asked, uh, do you want an HIV test? Or even asking your doctor, I would like to have mm -hmm. an HIV test I uh, when I go in there. And, uh, and so that's one of the, the really the flagship of this uh, of this the initiative testing. Is, the, is the testing. And then the second component is uh, certainly condom distribution. Uh, we are encouraging everyone, if you're going to practice sex, practice it safely. Uh, use a condom as a barrier uh, consistently and correctly every time. That is certainly one of those additional uh, means that CDC uh, believe that that's a prevention uh, uh, method. Uh, and so we are, really have this huge condom distribution campaign throughout the jurisdiction. Uh, again, trying to ensure that everyone, the barbershops, uh, salons, bars, clubs, have condoms available for anyone, anyone who chooses to use them. And that's another aspect. And the, and, the, and the third aspect is comprehensive prevention for positive. And you and I talked a little bit about that. And that is, once you're tested and you know your status, then it's important that you're linked to care, that you talk to a provider, that a provider offer you medications in order to maintain the disease so it won't progress to worse. Uh, and then the fourth component of that is uh, policy. 
looking at policies that may have an adverse impact upon us being able to offer you HIV testing, uh, and certainly ensuring that women who are pregnant uh, are tested for HIV in their first and third trimesters. Uh, so making sure that the laws are there and in encouraging our providers who are our birth hospitals, our OBGYNs, to ensure that uh, people or women who are accessing their clinics, that they are offered HIV testing as well. So that's one of the, those are the four major components of category A funding that we receive from CDC. What is the amount of the funding that Fulton County received? Uh, for, F, for this year, 2013, we received a little over $7.2 million. And uh, you are, your target in terms of the number of clients contacted or uh, served is what? Well, th for uh, uh, 2013, for it's a little years. over 43,000 individuals that we are targeting in Fulton and DeKalb County to do targeted testing. Now, that does not include all of the individuals we hope that our private providers sure. will offer testing to as well. I was interested in your focus on standardizing uh, the testing. What does that mean? That simply means that we want everybody to begin to have the same conversation around HIV testing. How are you going to do that? Well, we're going to we're going to push out a really, really aggressive uh, social marketing campaign as well as a communication and dissemination campaign, and that is really trying to routinize or standardize that when you go to the doctor. We hope that that doctor offer HIV tests and that whole battery of tests that they offer you, that HIV is somewhere in the middle there and that that is offered as well. And we want everybody to start having that conversation in the community. More or less, Fulton takes on HIV. Mm -hmm. And part of that is encouraging everyone to start having a conversation about HIV. So whether or not uh, you may be considered high risk or not, you said everybody. Everyone needs to know their HIV status. Everyone needs to know their HIV status, whether or not they are in any of the groups that have been identified exactly. as exactly. high risk. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. What about the uh, connection that you are establishing with uh, community groups? Well, one of the unique things about uh, this uh, funding from the Centers for Disease Control is that we are able to now become a grantee. That is that we're able to offer funding to our community-based organization, Boots on the Ground. Uh, they know where, the, where individuals are. Uh, they have established relationship with the, the, with the uh, individual that we're trying to target. And so we're certainly reaching out to partner with them and we'll be giving out grants to our community partners to, uh, again, have Boots on the Ground to be able to partner with us and ensuring that everyone, again, know their status. Well, that sounds like a very effective approach because we do have community groups throughout the county who've been working in this area without grants for many, many years. And as you say, they are boots on the ground and they do know where people are and they do know how to establish contacts and connections. We know, though, that with all government-funded programs, including Fulton County programs, there is a process of evaluation. Oh, absolutely, yes. And uh, I think that the public would be interested in knowing uh, some of the kinds of approaches that uh, the high impact program has developed during this past year that you're going to use to evaluate uh, the, the effectiveness of what you're doing so that not at the end, but as we go along so that we can make uh, perhaps adjustments as necessary. Oh, absolutely. One way, one uh, component is certainly when we issue these contracts with community-based organizations, and it's a, it's, it will be a different level of accountability. Uh, where certainly we will work with them to uh, uh, show up their capacity to deliver the services that we are contracting. So they'll with them probably have to have more than just cookies and punch for the community. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, we will, It'll take a little bit more than that. Oh, yes. We, yes. Will, we will really work with them to ensure that their efforts are targeted. Yes. Uh, it That's not, important. Oh, absolutely. It? We want to maximize the resources, uh, maximize the human resources as well as the financial resources. We don't have a dime to waste, so we want to ensure that uh, once we target an effort, it is high impact, that we are actually targeting, we're testing, 
distributing condoms. Uh, we're ensuring that people who are positive are linked to care. So it is important that we monitor uh, and hold everyone that's uh, engaged in this partnership accountable. Well, we have some fine community organizations that I know are going to be very, very helpful. And Ms. Hartwell, I would just like for you to uh, speak directly to the people of the county uh, in these closing minutes in terms of the message that you want them to have and the message that you want them to carry uh, to their churches and to the community and throughout the, uh, throughout the entire community. Well, thank you, Commissioner Darnell, for this opportunity. Uh, and, and one of the things that we really want to say to our community that it's really important that you know your HIV status. And one way we began this discussion is first, when you visit your provider, uh, begin to ask that conversation. Ask them about uh, offering the HIV test to you. It is important. Uh, we have a tiger by the tail, is what I always say. And uh, one of our goals is, is to, is to take this tiger and to tame it. And one way we plan to do that is offering HIV testing in our community, people who test positive, ensuring that they are linked to care and that they stay in care, and also work with our community-based organizations to really put boots on the ground to help us partner, partner with us uh, to make this uh, initiative a success. Thank you so very, very much, Ms. Hartwell. And we want to thank your staff uh, and the entire Department of Health and Wellness for all uh, that you're doing uh, to help carry out the policy of the Board of Commissioners to do all that we can with the people to deal with this awful disease, Thank which you. is still an epidemic That's correct. in Thank this you. community. Thank you, Commissioner Donnell. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back in a moment with closing thoughts. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of health professionals at Fulton County, CDC, and indeed throughout the world, we are making significant progress in the fight against HIV. Just this week at a major AIDS meeting here in Atlanta, scientists described the case of a child in Mississippi born with the virus who is now two and a half years old and who has been off the medication for about a year with no signs of infection. It may be, they say, the world's second reported cure of HIV. How did it happen? It happened because the doctor cared. She said, I just felt like this baby was at a higher than normal risk and deserved our best shot here in Fulton County in coordination with local, state, and federal partners. We also believe that with respect to the reduction and eradication of disease, including HIV, all the people of Fulton County deserve our best shot. That's all the time we have for today's conversation. Until next time, stay strong. To learn more about today's conversation, contact me at 404-612-8222. That's 404-612-8222. You can also email me at emma.darnell at fultoncountyga.gov.